In today's video, we're gonna compare two of the most popular VFX compositing software, which are Nuke and Fusion. We will explore their similarities and differences, as well as which one is better for you, starting with the user interface. So, their UIs are relatively similar. If you have ever used video editing software before, you'll notice that it is similar somehow. Both have a minor viewer at the top, side panel for additional tools, and a panel for nodes at the bottom instead of layers compared to video editing tools. Fusion is known for having limited customization options, but aside from that, they are relatively similar at the first glance, and no interface is more confusing than the other. Next, let's take a look at the industries they are used in. Nuke and Fusion are used in a variety of industries, but mainly to do VFX compositing in the VFX industry, which is the one they are marketed for as it is where they thrive the most. However, their use cases are not limited to that, because they can also be used in motion graphics, 3D rendering and animation, or video editing, particularly Fusion, because it comes bundled with DaVinci Resolve, which is a video editing tool, and a popular one, I might add. Despite this, those purposes are secondary uses, which are useful especially if you are on a budget, but as we said, they are mainly used in VFX compositing, and practically every movie released in recent years has employed one of those two software, or a combination of both. Now that we have gotten this out of the way, let's discover now which one is layer-based and which one is node-based. The Foundry Nuke and Fusion are entirely node-based applications. A node-based workflow means connecting rectangle-shaped effects to form what we call a node tree which allows us to produce, combine, or to make changes to already existing photos or videos. At first, it may sound difficult for beginners who have never worked with node-based software before, but it is not the case if you spend the necessary time learning it. Plus, they are way better for compositing, as it makes it easier to work on complex scenes and it is much more flexible than layers. In fact, if you come to using nodes from layers, you can never go back to the layer-based workflow because the node-based compositing workflow is much better and almost all professionals use it. When it comes to compositing, New Confusion are both industry standard software with all the essential VFX tools, such as camera trackers, all types of blur, special effects like glow, lens flare, and the rest of the required tools. But the main difference is that Fusion, in my opinion, has better 3D tools and particle systems, making it better for motion graphics or for adding original effects in post-production. However, while it can produce industry-standard visual effects, its tool set may appear to be limited as you gain experience, because Nuke offers significantly more depth with much more advanced tools that can help you make far more advanced compositing. Furthermore, it provides some tools that can make a free processes more difficult to replicate in Fusion such as deep compositing and smart vectors. And on top of that, organizing the nodes is considerably easier. As a result of this, Nuke is used more in the industry. So if you want to make it to Hollywood or a big studio, I believe it is a better choice to pick. Nonetheless, Fusion is also used in movies and it is also a capable software. So in general, I think Nuke is superior, especially if you want to composite live action footage even though Fusion is still good at it. And with the 3D tool set it offers, it is arguably better if you want to composite a project that is entirely or most of it is CGI. When it comes to tracking, Fusion and Nuke have good tracking capabilities as well as a variety of tracking types, such as 2D and 3D trackers, as well as corner pin, planar tracking, and so on. However, Nuke outperforms Fusion in this area because overall, it offers a higher quality tracking data, plus I find it much more flexible with how you can use tracking information. But regardless of that, Fusion is still an excellent tracking tool. Both Fusion and Nuke are not designed for color correction, but you can still do it to a certain extent. For instance, Nuke has a color correct node that you can use to adjust the contrast, gamma, and other aspects of images. While it can do a decent job at this, the software was still not intended for color correction, and the same applies to Fusion. It is true that you can do the process in it, 
but there is no need to do so because it comes with DaVinci Resolve, a genuine and legit color correction software that has a variety of tools and features that neither Nuke or Fusion can match. So even Nuke and Fusion can be usable when it comes to color correction, especially for small color adjustments, it is still advisable to switch to DaVinci Resolve for more significant and advanced color correction work, especially if you want things to look professional. When it comes to masking, both have kind of similar tools, like a pen tool for manual masking and various other features. For example, adjusting the edge softness and extending it, as well as other types of masking and solutions such as auto rotoscoping. I actually prefer the edge extending in Nuke more, and I like how Fusion offers a lot of nice masking nodes, but overall, it is an area where both software perform really well. In terms of third-party development, Nuke is fantastic in the field, offering a substantial number of great plugins that can assist you in creating anything you want in different tasks such as compositing, tracking, and so much more. Whereas Fusion lacks a bit in this aspect, especially if we compare it to Nuke, but it still has some decent plugins to offer. Nuke actually has a stronger third-party community with a lot of plugins to choose from, as it is way more popular. While I find Fusion to have a weaker third-party development and it offers much more limited amount of plugins and scripts, plus a lot of them are released for other software as well. Most add-ons for both programs are expensive, especially for beginners who aren't earning money off of that, as most cost more than $100, but you can still manage to find some of the niche plugins that don't cost a lot of money, especially on websites like Gumroad. When it comes to the hardware side of things, Nuke and Fusion are quite CPU dependent, but both have effects that can be accelerated by the GPU, and having one can boost your performance a lot, especially if you are working with high resolution footage. However, the results will vary depending on the GPU manufacturer and the model you have, so I recommend you do your research and find more about this topic. When it comes to the learning curve, Fusion, in my opinion, is easier for beginners to learn because it is comparably simpler than Nuke, which is kind of difficult and has more of a learning curve or a learning process that you have to go through, especially when it comes to resources. Nonetheless, both of these programs can be pretty difficult to learn at some point, but with the necessary commitment and effort, you can master them both. When it comes to pricing and licensing, Fusion is included for free when you purchase a DaVinci Resolve license, which is a one-time payment that includes free upgrades. It is also included for free in the free edition of a DaVinci Resolve, which is a little bit more limited than the commercial version, but still extremely good. Whereas Nuke, we have Nuke Basic, Nuke X, Nuke Studio, and Nuke Render. They all have different prices and can be rented as well. So I recommend you go to their page and see what they offer and the prices they have because they may change over time. I personally believe that Fusion and Nuke are both great software, especially when it comes to compositing and post-production work. For me personally, I prefer Nuke because I tend to look at things in the long term, and if you want to work in the industry, Nuke is your best option. But if you want to do compositing and post-production work just for yourself or personal projects, Nuke can be a great choice but Fusion can be a better choice, especially for beginners. So, I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.